Hello everyone. Good evening. So I sent this file, CDO 15 October. Can you see this file? I sent in a WeChat, right? So please unzip. If you unzip, you will find this one. And this file. And this file. And like you will f get five or okay, five files. And this folder. Okay, are you there, right? Open this file. CDO is full command. Open this file. <clears throat> okay. So, if you're using Cguin, so you need to change the directory with Cig drive. If you are uh, Ubuntu user, you know how to change the directory, right? CD, and you change the directory where you are. So, I'm there. This is my pod, right? So I need to come here. So I will use Cguin. It's clear, right? Okay. Everyone can see, right? Isn't it? It's okay? So, just listen and see. So, if you are in C Gwin, the CD, CD means the sense directory. You should have the basic knowledge of Linux. Whatever you uh, are you in the Seguin or Ubuntu or Fedora, the same thing. Like CD means the sense directory. I need to come here, right? This is a machine. Machine will not understand where I am, right? So I need to uh, show uh, this is my file. I am there. I am take file from there, right? So CD in Seguin, you always type the SIG drive. Then I am in the F directory. Then Imsha software training. CDO Imsha, I'm there. Then, <clears throat> so I want to see if I'm there. So ls, this is the command for see the list of files in Linux, right? So if you are very new in Linux, okay, wait for the Imsha. Imsha can arrange the training, basic training for Linux. Or I have the Organizational Research Society, I can arrange this training, right? Okay, this is the ls. Now I'm there. You see, I can see the file. I can see my files. You see, CDO 15 October 20 zip file, right? So that's when I'm there. I confirm I'm there, okay? Now, come here. So I don't know where, I, uh, where you are, so you just change the directory. What is your file? Because in this training, I will use two data set, daily rainfall and UNV. I will use the two data set, right? Okay, so now let's see here. In my training in 2018 to 2019, when I was a trainer in IMSHA, I always said, know your data, know your data, know your data. This is the thing. Like I'm Mr. Jalal, okay, if you don't, don't know me, so how to treat with me, right? So you, you need to know your data. Know your data. What is the data type? What is the data? What is the unit? Everything before you do plot or do analysis, whatever you use, graphs, NCL, MATLAB, Python, R, etc., etc., etc. You need to know your data. Know your data. Know your data. Play with your data. Play with your data. This is the game. If you know, if you allow one or master, then you can publish your paper. Right? Some people are PhD doing last year or third year, couldn't publish paper. In my master's, I already published seven papers. Another are seven or five is under review. So it depends on you how, how, how you can analyze your data, right? Okay, that's it. Anyway, so we want to know the data information. You see, this file is NetCDF. It's not Excel file. If you're Excel or Notepad text file, you can just click and it will open, right? 
This is a net serial file. It's like a miracle. It's a, like spiritual. You can't see. Right? So you need to use some command, uh, use some software or tools to see the data. So these are net CDF files. So you can open like an Excel file. So you need to know your data. So if you want to know your, our data, so we need to use some command. So in CDO, always you have to type CDO. Like if you use in Python, always you need to write Python, then the, then the file or command, right? If you use the NCL, then first type NCL, then the type. So you need to type CDO. That's when you want to use CDO. Then the operator. So we will use the S in four. This is the operator, right? More than uh, 300 operators in CDO. You see the CDO user guide. So more than 300 operators is there. You don't need everything. What you need, I will show you, right? So you can follow this one, even if you need more and you need, you need to more understand and need to more read. So you, you just use this CDO user guide. Everything is there, okay? Like say for example, I will use the S information, right? I click here, you see everything is there with example. So I will show you but for more reading, more no, right? You can read this user guide with example. Okay, thank you. Now we use the S info, then the file name. So then it will print the file information. So okay, let's try. We'll type whatever you see in our Ubuntu, the same thing, type CDO. Then S info. If you are not good at typing, I send the file, you just copy the command and paste there. Right? S info, then file name. I want to see my file is daily rainfall, right? I have two files. So I want to see the this file, daily rainfall.nc. You don't need to type the whole uh, line. So you just type two or three, then you you press on tab, like just uh, half of the caps lock. Just type tab, it will come, right? Now see, press enter. So, it's saying this data is 365 time steps. That's when it's daily data. Here, 365 time steps means it's a daily data, right? One year data. We don't know which year, we'll know, but it's saying 365 time steps means it's daily data, right? Okay, so we know this thing. This is the short information. So this is the information like, it says file format is necessary, right? Then the coordinates, 120 and 120 means we have the data. So these are, what is this? Okay. We know the global coordinate, right? So, 80 degree to 180 degree, right? 90 degree positive, 90 degree negative, right? North, South, East, West, isn't it? So, the, this is the X. This is the longitude, right? And this is the Y, latitude. Our data is like gridded. Gridded means it's like that. We have the grid point, like this. You can see different grids, right? It's like the R. We have the grid. This is a gridded data. Is that it, it has the points. That's what I'm saying. 120 into 120. That's mean 124 uh, points for longitude, 120 for latitude, right? Even you see, it's longitude from 70 to 100 degree east. That's mean this one. Positive. If it is positive, then it's east. 
If it's a negative west, send the letter to the positive, then north. If the negative is south, right? We have the basic idea in geography, right? So, before you analyze your data, you need to know these things. So, then the latitude from 0 to 30 degrees north. That's meaning the positive. So, we know this data. Now, we want to know more about it. Now we want to print data set information by using just info. Now this time we just got the basic information, very short information, the latitude and longitude. Now I want to see the data, the value, minimum, maximum, mean, etc. I want to see the data, right? So we will use CDO, then info, then our file name is daily, right? Rainfall. Press enter. You see now the data. Now, we can see very well the date, the time, the label grid size, the missing value, the minimum, maximum, and we, we have also the mean. Like, okay, let me show you why it's showing like this. It was too big. Now, can you see clearly? No, we, we need to. So this is showing now the minimum, maximum, and, and the mean below. This way you can see the data. Can you see clearly, or should I zoom again? Okay, now, <clears throat> till now we don't know our variable name, right? We don't know our variable name. We just see, okay, our latitude, longitude, then the minimum, maximum, and mean value. But we want to know our variable name. When you use Grash or L-Scale or MATLAB, you need to know the variable name, right? You want to plot or you want to uh, analyze your data, so you need to know the variable name. So, CDO show name means we want to know the variable. We, we don't know what's the variable name, right? So just type CDO show name then daily this one. You see, it's showing the variable name is free. Can you see clearly or oh? Is it okay now? Yeah. Now you can see, right? So our variable name is 
free p r e whatever the name is free so even still we don't know what is p r e we are guessing okay this is a rainfall but we want we don't want to guess we want to see what is it right so sorry No, 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 no. Okay, maybe you didn't understand. Every time you need to type CDO, then the operator, right? Now we want to uh, know this like parameter description. Maybe this time we'll understand okay, this precipitation or temperature. Maybe let's try. So now CDO, type this command PR DS, then file name. Now it's saying what? Precipitation, but what is the unit? Be careful about the unit. Maybe if it is different, like if I say the temperature, maybe your uh, data is Kelvin, but you need to show your degree centigrade, so you need to convert, right? So be careful about the unit. So it's saying rainfall is millimeter, it's fine. Okay? Now, one thing, this was the three-dimensional data. You know that I mentioned, right? Yeah. So our data was our rainfall data, right? Rainfall data was three-dimensional. We have time. The latitude, then longitude, right? There's a three-dimensional data. The time was like 365, right? Days. The lat and long was 120, 120 point, right? Isn't it? Now, if you have the four-dimensional data, can you give an example for four-dimensional data? Yeah, level. So like the, if, if you think about the wind, it has different level, like the surface level 1,013 uh, 1, SP, hectopascal, maybe it goes up, it's really right? So we have the level 1,013, 850, 200, one, like, 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 like this, right? So if you have the wind, then we have also the time, then the level, then lag, Right? So for rainfall data, we know already the time, lat, long. But if you have the four-dimensional data, how will you know the label? So we have the three axes, x, y, z, right? So we, we need to know the z axis. That's why this showing CDO Z, Z axis, DS mean description. Once you know the Z axis, right? That's why we will use this UV data. We have the another data, right? The rainfall data is rainfall. It's three-dimensional. Now we will see the UV. Meridional wind and zonal wind, right? So we'll see this. CDO, then... What the command? Command is Z exists. You can copy, is okay. Yes, then U V. Now you can see the label, right? So this is the level pressure level, right? What the units? Millivers. 180 and 50. Because I uh, calculated the vertical wind shear. So vertical wind shear is 200 minus 850. That's why my data is showing only 200 and 850. Maybe you have the 17 levels, whatever. Then you can select which level do you want, right? Or you can split. It's okay. I'm coming. So we are knowing our data, right? Now we know, okay, our data is like that. So I need to play like this. 
Now our data name was what? For rainfall, it was P R E, right? For rainfall. Now you are thinking I don't want to use the P R E. Okay, let me write precipitation. So you want to change the variable name with your own name, right? You want to don't want to uh, keep the variable name PRE. You want to write the precipitation. So you need to change the variable name. So then, CDO, this is the hyphen means it will give you the head. So the CH means change name. We want to change the name. Then we need to write the original variable, the file name, PRE. Then you want to change the variable like Precipitation. Then we have the input file, right? Then we want to save because this data set is PRE. So we want to change the variable the precipitation. When you want to change, you need to save as another file, right? So we need to give the name for output file. This is the structure. So let's try. <coughs> Video CS name comma the variable name is PRE. We want to change precipitation, then space or input file is daily. Then want to save as PCP. Okay, daily rainfall. Okay, precipitation dot NC. Press enter. It's finished. This file, can you see? Okay. Now you need to check what CDO made, right? You change PRE to precipitation. But you don't know uh, what is the variable name inside this file, right? You need to test if CDO made correctly, right? Okay, let's try. So we know CDO. Uh, can you remember this? Yeah, you can know this. Camera description, we, we, we can know the variable name, right? Then our file name, precipitation, right? You see it's changed. There was PRE, now it's showing precipitation, right? Now, we don't know the date. It's, it's showing 365 days, but who is here? And who is month? Do you know that? No. We don't know what is the date. It's showing 365 days, but who is year and who is month? And who is day, right? So we need to know the date. So CDO show date. Video show date. Our file name is daily, right? We want to know the date, the year, the month, and day. Maybe for myself, uh, my main research on tropical cyclone dynamics, I, I use the machine learning. So, in tropical cyclone, it's not rainfall, regular rainfall, right? Like tropical cyclone, maybe in one year or three times or four times. So, I, I need to extract my data on a specific day. So I need to know who is day. Then I will cut the data for a specific day. It's not regular rainfall if you are doing research on tropical cyclone, right? So you need to know the date. You see now date. Go up. Now you can see the date. It's 2011, right? It's daily data, so it starts from January 1. CDO is very useful software. You know the know your data. Even you can know by NCL, but CDO also good. You do that. No NCL, you don't need. But CDO is a handy. You don't need to write code. Just use the command. That's it. Finish. Like if you use NCL, yeah, you can do, but you have to write code. 
Maybe you are not master and you are not law one, right? Then so CD is better. So our purpose is finished, right? We know our data. Now, we want to do some statistical analysis. Now we know our data, we know our latitude, we know our longitude, we know our time, we know our variable name, we can change our variable, right? So everything is done. Now, we want to go to diff. Like we want to do some analysis now. So, if you have the hourly data, say for example, I use the three hourly data. So if you have the three hourly data or six hourly data, you need to change hourly to daily maybe, right? But today I will show you the monthly calculation because I have the daily data. So if you have the hourly data, just use CDO day mean, that's mean you want to daily mean. If you want to daily mean, your data should be hourly. If you want to uh, do the monthly mean or monthly sum, the data should be daily. One by one is the logical progression, right? You can't the hourly to direct daily or monthly. So step by step. So if you have data, then you just type day mean or day sum, then this is hourly data file name, right? Then this is the output file name. That's it. Now, in tonight, I will show you how to calculate monthly. So I have the daily data. I want to do monthly mean or monthly sum. Now CDO, man mean, that's mean monthly mean, our data should be daily or hourly, is okay. Then our output name. Input file, output file. Let's try. CDO, man mean, sorry. CDO man mean, then we have the data, right? Daily data, this is the input file. Then I want to save the data monthly rainfall.nc. You can give another name, what you want. But for convenience, I read the monthly rainfall, so it's convenience, anyone can understand. If I'm not there, anyone, oh, this is a monthly rainfall. So use the convenient name, right? <laughs> Whatever, what are you talking now? City has 65 days, so it's the daily data. Press enter, it's finished. You see the monthly rainfall, right? Now, I don't want to bleep CDO, I need to check. Our time was 365. Now, if it is monthly, it should be 12 time step, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. It should be 12. If it is more than 12, there is a problem. You need to check your data. Right? So be careful. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, check. CDO show date monthly data, right? How many time steps now? Uh, so see you make that clear. I'm the right way. In every software you use, just check your data, check your data, check your data. If your data is wrong, your result will be wrong. Then your paper will be rejected. So, 12 time step, you can see now from January to December. Can you see the month? It's from January to December. It should come January to December. Don't believe in machine. Yeah, you use a machine, but use your brain. Right? In the same way, monthly sum. Just month sum, then input data. That's it, finish. Now, if you want to uh, do yearly calculation, yearly mean. Maybe you don't need the month, you need the year. But your data, if I downloaded this data from TRIM, you know the TRIM, Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission, this is hourly data. So it's hourly, daily, monthly data. So 
that is no yearly data. So you need to convert it, right? So the same way you can do year mean. So if we want to do year mean, our data should be what? Monthly. Yes, monthly. Just we finish the monthly, right? So CDO, <coughs> then year mean, then monthly. I want to save as yearly rainfall.nc. Finish. Yearly rainfall. So what will be the time step now? It was 365, that is converted to 12. So what is the time step? One, it should be one. Isn't it? So I have a question. Like, yeah. For example, if the temporary will be in eight days. For example, some data has an eight day, fifteen days like this. No, if you want to convert it on a monthly basis. For example, you have an eight day data. I know, I know, I understand. Okay, let me finish. Like I use the three hourly data. Okay. So it means eight time per day. Four hourly, eight time. Four into uh, like it's three hourly, right? Twenty-four. Isn't it? No, it is definitely it is one day data. Even. No, let me finish. I will give you answer. Okay. So finally, eight times should be one. One day. It's three hourly data. So 24 hours. Right? Isn't it? Sure. So that's mean in CDO there is a code. If it is hourly or you have the time step, there is option the code. It will arrange like okay, you say the 15 times so or whatever they convert it at one or 24. Did you get it? That's why we use a CDO, you don't have to do it by yourself. You just put the data okay hourly, then they will calculate 24. Okay, like per day should be 24 hours, right? Then how many time is step? Eight time is step if it is three hourly data, it should be eight time step. So they will calculate the how many, like eight, per day eight, right? Eight times step, isn't it? No. No, three hour later I said. Yes, this, for this case this is okay. Okay, I'm coming, even the, this case also be okay. There's a mathematics. Yeah, so eight. So if it is 365, CD will calculate how many times step. So 8 into 365, just multiply. Two sixty-five, then eight, right? Okay. So you will understand the eight time step. So it, it converted to daily. Okay. The 15, then you must 15 means you just convert the 24 hours how many time step? Six hourly. If it is six hourly, then it will be four okay. time steps. So see you know. Calculate the time step. Then it convert it. Yeah. There's a process. There's a method. You can change. Yeah? So there is a code. That's why we use the CDO. If we do by hands, oh my god. <laughs> like I, I use the 30 years data, it's three hourly. Oh. I was the supercomputer, right? There's a big data. If it is a modeling, so think about it. So that's why CDO, you customize your data, then put. Okay, thank you so much. Now, the another thing. Say for example, you use RGS. Mm -hmm. So RGS open two dimensional data. X and Y, let's see the But your data is three dimensional or four dimensional, whatever. So you need to convert it and then go to the RCS. So, say for example, I have the three dimensional data. If I average the time, then our data is two dimensional, right? We cannot plot three dimensional. We always plot X and Y, isn't it? Two dimensional. These are figure, whatever temporal or special figure is two dimensional. That's why if I am an ArcGIS user, it's better to 
use the time address in CDO and just open in uh, RGS and just plot, finish. Whatever you use, the shape file, etc., etc. Just I want to average the time mean. So you can use this command, CDO time mean. Okay, you can do by yourself. Now, there is a question now. I have the special figure. I have the grid points, right? In our data, 120, 32, right? 120 points. Then we have the longitude 120 points, isn't it? We have the grid points. Now I have to do a special level. <laughs> or special mean, right? That was the temporal. Now I want to do the special. So, it will give you only one data point, like, say for example this, you will average this one, you will get one value. Average this one, get one value. So like this. Like 365 days. For the first day, you have the 120 and 20, right? This point. The second day also, the same special area, right? Every day has the same point, same data. So we want to special average or mean. So part of it will give you the one. That's why it's saying the special statistical analysis returns only one value of the domain. This is the domain, right? You know this domain. So this is saying FLD means field sum. This is a domain sum. Then your input file and output file. You can sum or you can domain mean. That will be a special mean. So let's try. <coughs> CDO, FLD, SM, some input file is what? We can use monthly. Then output file is, okay, domain um, dot nc. You can give the name. So now it's domain. Is the special address. Just wait. This is the next CDF file, right? In CDO, I will convert a text file. Just wait. Then you can see the data. Give you one. At the end, I will show you how to convert it as a text. So you can uh, take your data into Excel even. So at the end, I will show you how to take the output. It's a next CD file. You, you, you can't open. So at the output, we finish the product. Then we want to take this data into a text file. Then you can use it in Excel, whatever you can do, right? Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. Like the next CDF file is like binary data. I don't know there was a class on data science. I was not there. I don't know if you learn data science. But uh, when I would teach NCL, I will show the data science. What is the data type? What does it mean the data? What does it mean a variable? And what is the ASCII file? What is the binary file? And why we don't uh, we can't open NetCDF file, but we can open the text file, right? This is the data science. I was not the teacher, so I think you know that. that, that but this is a basic thing that uh, you learn about the, all, all about the data, but it's but, not easy just to remember data at the same time because most of us are now that sort of. Uh, Whatever in, in, to know in the data science should know the basic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even I'm I'm not from the computer science. Yeah, so we should know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so mm -hmm. what is going on. Now, you are not interested in like time address. Now you are focusing, brother, Rajapuri, right? 
sorry for wrong spelling. What is the name? Okay. He ordered like last time, right? Last year he said, I want to do monthly seasonal. Yeah? Some people say, okay, there is a season, December, January, February, like this. I don't want, I want the age and summer also. June, July, what September, what? How can I do this, 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 right? Now you want to play with season. So, I'm here now. So I'm going one by one. Now, if you want to <coughs> select month, you can select by yourself. Which month do you need? Just extract, select the month, and get the output, and then uh, you can plot in any software, right? Then, or you want to do some seasonal analysis. Can be December, <coughs> January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, whatever, summer, is a monsoon, June, July, August, four months, five months, you just select. These are climatology, right? So now, in CDO, this operator cell means select. Then man means month. You want to select month, right? These are manually, you can select month. So I want to select March, April, and May. Three, four, five. But there is also option, you don't need to select three, four, five. You can select directly, but we need to know both of them. Right? Now, I want to select month. So, CDO cell month. Then use comma. Then three, four, five. That's mean March, April, and May. Then space. Be careful about it. If you miss one comma, it will not run. This is a machine. This is a programming. You are not writing code, but CDO already has written the code. Right? The operator has a code. You are not saying, but there's a code. <coughs> then input file. Input file is what? Monthly. We have the monthly data, right? Monthly rainfall. Then output file, I want to give the name MAM rainfall. Dot NC. Okay. Finish. This one. But I don't I don't want to believe CDO, I need to check. If it took March, April, and May. So how to check? CDO show date. You can see the date, right? CDO show date. <coughs> Just check. Yeah, it's March, April, and May, right? So I'm the right way, eh? Then I don't want to select month. I want to select directly March, April, May, or June, July, August, or not one by one. I want to select the whole together. Everything is possible. So we need to use this CDO, then cell, select season, then we need to select March, April, May. Then input file is what? Monthly, right? Then give the name C is March, dot NC. Finish. Check if it is work, right? Video show date. Sees. Is the same? Check. So you can select month or you can select directly the season. Or you can select two seasons together. Let's try. Also want to select June, July, August. I don't want to do manually. Right? So just use this one. Change the name. Finish. And let's check.
Now there is a question. Data is daily. So it's one year data, 2011, right? But I don't need the whole date. Now we are selecting month, but I want to select a specific date. See, for example, I'm working on tropical cyclones. I just target, okay, 2011, uh, from 3 June to 6 June was a cyclone in Indian Ocean. And it affected India, Bangladesh, Myanmar. And there is also a cyclone in Arabian Sea. It's affected Pakistan, then the Arabian Peninsula, etc., Yemen, etc., right? Even the western part of India. So my target is only specific day. And I want to see the cyclone, how much rainfall produce on this, that day, right? I want to select a specific day. So how? Do you do it by hand? No. It's not possible. So let's try with CDO. This is a good thing. Like machine is like labor. If you know how to use, Machine will do work for you. You just, okay, you allow one, you sit down and write code. Sometimes I write, like, write code almost one month. I'm just writing my code, but when it's done, within two seconds, I change the data, output is finished. Like when I was in master's degree, first, first year or second year, it was take one and six months to publish my one paper. Now, Within three months, I can submit a journal. One month, writing code. Second month, analyze the data. Third month, writing paper. Submit. So that's when if you know this thing, then it's finished. Just sit down and okay, this is my labor. I want to give you some task and do my, for myself. So CDO is a very useful software, right? Now, we want to select the date. So my target was, this one, I want to select only, I want to take my rainfall data only specific that day. In that day, just imagine Bangladesh was, my country is Bangladesh, Bangladesh was affected by this cyclone on that day. So I, I want to focus on that day and I want to calculate, I want to see how was the rainfall. Did you get it? Maybe you are different data, different research, but sometimes you need to choose the specific date, right? Then you can select the date. Now, cell date, CDO cell date, then, okay, it should be comma, no space, then type the date, 2000, see the structure of the day, date, so you need to type like this, okay, so 2011, then 03, then 31, and then our input file <coughs> is uh, daily, and then rain, it is what? 11, right? 31 March. If I come next year, uh, next time, and I can understand for 2011 and 31 March, give the name with the convenient, anyone can understand. Okay. Now, press enter, it's finished. And check the date, inside the data, CDO, show date. <coughs> this one, right? You see? It took only one, only one specific date. Yes? Now, my data was what? Can you tell me the special, uh, like it was 120 to 20, but there is the latitude and longitude. Can you tell me the range of the latitude and longitude? You forget, right? 
No, I am talking about my data, this data. Okay, CDO S info, right? You see, the longitude 72, 100. See the latitude and longitude. Now, I want to cut my data over BF bamboo. We have the global data set. We don't need to take the whole region. Now, I was talking about the temporal. I want to select this date, this month. Now the question, okay, I'm from Africa. I don't need to use my Bangladesh data, right? Why I'm going there? So, my focus on, okay, over Africa, or over Pakistan, over India. So, we need to cut the special area, right? We don't need the whole data, and it will, like, one file is a global data. It can be two, 10 gigabytes. Why you don't need this big? I don't need it. You just cut the data, and you for yourself, right? So, now, What is the data? So it's longitude for what? 72? 100, right? Maybe there is a Bay of Bengal. This is a Bangladesh, India, this is a Myanmar. Just imagine. Then 0 to 30. These are our data, 70 to 100, then 0 to 30. But say for example, this is in India, this is a Bay of Bengal. Just I want to cut here. I just want to focus on India. I don't need it. So this is like window, right? Isn't it? Like a window. That's why, even this is like a box. That's why there is a, like, the operator is saying, CDO, cell. Cell means select. Then long, lat, box. As a box. Okay? I want to just cut this box. Like a box. So select, long, lat, box. Then, should be long one and long two. Say for example, my loan is 50 to 80, say for example. So this is the loan one, loan two. Then say for example, let, I want to cut from here to here. So say for example, is 5 to 20. So this is the let one. Let to it should be small to yeah. So this is the logical way. If you the la largest one, then it's no, it's small, large. Then input file is save as output file. <coughs> Video cell lawn lat box, comma, then lawn one, what 50. 50, comma, 80, let 5. If it is negative, just put the minus before the value. That's with the negative. Comma, 20, right? Space. <coughs> Input file is what? A daily. Then, say for example, give the name India. Rainfall India dot NC finish rainfall India. You see now, let's check Yes, right?
70 or 50? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I was wrong. Our data from 70, how can I put 50? Then can make mistake. <laughs> oh my God! Well, that's why I need to check every time. You see, I made mistake. Now they go. Oh, how can be fifty? Our data is from seventy. Shouldn't be. Yeah. Now, maybe you want to use some, okay, let's have a break, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Any question or in discussion? Not question, like discussion. Any discussion or like question we can have No, after break, the break. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe the in relaxed time, I want to show something like, maybe you, you will be interested in it. Ah, wait, my boy. So this is my organization, Research Society. Oh, you already saw this, right? Yeah. So if you are interested in my research, I do research on tropical cyclone, drought, meteorological uh, disasters, and the thunderstorm, and teleconnection, but main focus on machine learning in PhD. So maybe you can collaborate. Sorry? Drought? Yeah, drought, thunderstorm, then the teleconnection, tropical cyclone. Yeah, I have some paper on drought. But in PhD, main focus on machine learning and predict tropical cyclone dynamics, even, yeah. And this is my organization. There is a research team. Now we have only the national, but in few days, I will add the international uh, students. Now I'm giving uh, free training on Python. It's continuing. The next day I have the training online. Then I'm giving training on machine learning, giving training on SPSS, uh, then how to write scientific paper, maybe 21 October I will teach here, right? Even I'm giving online academic talk. So this is the research team, I'm the team leader. Then these this are all the uh, team from different universities in Bangladesh. The few days, after a few days, I will add here for international student, international team. I launched six projects in my research society. We are working on machine learning. So if you are interested in my organization, you are welcome, we are like, I will also add here some advisory panel from Australia, Canada, and from different countries. And we had an academic talk. We have the Facebook page, we have the YouTube channel, we have the LinkedIn. So, and I hope you will be enjoy. And everything is free. And you are welcome to collaborate with my organization. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm helping now thousands of students. Thousands of students I'm helping. It's free. Okay. Even I was the trainer here, Imsha. Can you see that? The 2018 and 19. I helped the students. Even I also the founder and director. I was some different. But I don't like politics. <laughs> in the social work. And this is my the little skill. I need to have the machine learning. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't stop. Resume the oh, record. 
maybe in your analysis you need to use some logic now condition like if you have temperature data or six of the temperature data there is a threshold you want to just take the data which is greater than five degrees centigrade or less than five degrees centigrade can be the condition right so it's a big data if you see by I, how many days, how many years, we look at the data and less than 5 degrees centigrade data, is it possible? So you are in 100 years back, right? So we can use CDO and give the condition, I want just less than 5 degrees centigrade data, I don't need the other, and other data would be missing, I don't need it. So then we use this if, then. You need to understand this. This is a programming language. Uh, maybe in NCL class, I can show you this. If then, this is the logic, the conditional statement. What does it mean? If then, greater than constant, 5 degree centigrade or 5 millimeter, our data is rainfall, right? That's why I want to take only greater than 5 millimeter. Then input file, input file, output file. So we need to understand this command line, right? Okay, there is a note. If the first input file is greater than five, when you write this command, if greater than five, this file, we have the one file, right? One file. So we will make the condition, if this file, maybe your data has no greater than five millimeter. So we need to check if our data is greater than five millimeter, right? That's why we put in the condition, if the CD will check the data input five, if the data then five degree, uh, five millimeter, this is a, if, this is a, you know the Boolean, Boolean data, you know the Boolean algebra, Boolean, Boolean, Boolean only is two, true or false, like zero and one, this is a machine, machine learning, so the computer only understands zero and one, if zero, that's means this is a false, if greater than zero, it's true. That's why CD will check. If the data has greater than five millimeter, then it's true. When we find the true, then use another file, the same for another file. We'll go there and check greater than five millimeter. Then we'll set as an output file. Do you understand the code? If then, if this is true, then check from this file, and give me the greater than five millimeter data. <coughs> Clear? That's why we use input file as two kinds. First time, if, and this file has greater than five millimeter rainfall, then use this, this is our data file. Then you take greater than five millimeter data and you want to save at the output file. Did you get it, the yeah. common line? You need to understand the common line. First, it's checking. If it is false, it will not take it. Uh, CDO will not give you the data. How can a CDO can give you the data if there is no greater than five millimeter rainfall? So we need to check. Okay, so type <coughs> CDO if then hyphen greater than constant comma five then space input file is what daily then another file daily output file is okay give the name rain greater than five millimeter dot and c okay input file on output file press enter you see, first two process. Check okay, true. Then use this file and check from there. So this is our data. Yeah, this one. Now. 
arithmetic operations. You want to do some like addition, subtraction, multiplication, right? You want to multiply. Like if, uh, if you have the temperature data, just imagine. You have the temperature data, right? And your data unit is Kelvin. So if you want to convert Kelvin to degrees and you need to subtract minus 273.15, isn't it? So now you need to subtract. So you need to use the arithmetic operation. And my every class will be like practical. You don't need to memorize, you don't need to copy. You will find everything is Google, but you need to understand. Understanding is the key. Just the passing exam and got the CGPA 349095, what does it mean? If you don't have the practical knowledge. Anyway, so we use the sub. Sub means subtraction. You can subtract, or if you just subtract with constant like minus 273, then you use C, like constant. Just we use greater than C. Can you see? C means constant. Or just you want to subtract from this file to this file, like you have two data set, like March, April, May, and you have data from September, October, November. You want to see the difference. You want to see the difference. Then you subtract, okay, from this file to this file. Yeah. Or sometimes, like, you want to multiply. Like, your data is normal. You know the normalized data? Normalized means 0 to 1, right? Data means normalized 0 plus 1 to minus 1, right? Your data is, like, normalized. Now, you want to like your data from 0 to 1, you want to make it percent. You want to see the percentage, right? Maybe you've got this value. That's when you want to multiply 100 and see, okay, 80%. Right? 80% rainfall, what whatever, any, anything can be, right? So, we, in CDO, we also can multiply if we need. This is the multi with constant. Maybe you can multiply with 100. Clear? Now, <clears throat> like in monthly data, we have January to December, 12th month. We have to split the month from January to December. So we use this split. Here is bar, bar means variable. We have only one variable, that's why I don't want to split. But if it is the second file, can you imagine the ub.nc? We have the file, right? We have the u, we have b. So two variables. So if I want to separate, I don't want to keep you and me together. I want to separate. Then we split the bar. Bar means variable. I know from the data science, maybe you don't know the variable. You know the variable, right? So, okay, you know the variable. So, the variable. Then input file, output file, you can split. Even you can split month. You can split uh, year. You can split time. This is the CPU. Very useful software. Very useful software. So, we can split. Let's have a try, right? I don't want to split, okay. Try. CDO split bar. Then let's see UV. Anyone to split? Don't put the dot .nc. Press enter. You see? You see? U and B. Or you can give different names, so it will be easy to understand. <coughs> Let me give the different name. So I want to give, give the name wind. More understandable. And you see, wind U, wind V dot NC. 
explain. It's very easy. Even we can split month. Now, <clears throat> just imagine you have data separately, you and me. Now you have to mass together. That time our aim was to split you and me. Now imagine you have you and me, or you have 10 files. Like January to December, you have the different files, but you, want, you don't want to handle one file or one file. You want to mass together and just make one file and do analysis, right? Then it should be mass. So CPU has option. You can split, you can mass. Right? So now you can mass file. The first option is manually. Manually means you can select this file, this file, this file. But if you know the computer programming, we, we use the historic sign. That means we want to use the whole file. Maybe in my folder I have 1,000 files. How to select 1,000 files manually? So in computer programming, in anywhere, we use the historics. Here, not multiplication. It means I want to take the whole file dot nc or can be dot text or, or can be dot dat any file I want to use. I have the hundred files I have the thousands of files I don't want to select manually that's why I'm giving two examples which, which is up to you you want to waste your time or you <laughs> just use your time right so use this one so now but be careful there what is the careful now? Ah. For split is okay, but for marks, you need to make note now. Otherwise, it will give you error. When I was a beginner in data analysis, in data science, I got error, I got error. This is my practical knowledge. Nobody taught me. I learned by myself. I, I went to Google and search it and apply it in my life. And I came to China in 2017. Till now, I couldn't go back home. I'm just working hard to improve myself. Till now. That's why I'm always playing with this. So be careful. Like, we have the two data set now. One is UV, right? One is rainfall, isn't it? If you want to mass to file, it should be the same length long, same dimension. Like your data one data is two dimensional at the T, no. It should be the same dimension. It can be different time, it's okay. Like our data from 70 to 100, right? Zero to 30, this is the rainfall data. But maybe wind data is different. It may be start from uh, 18 to 110. And it negative 5 to 30. It's not the same. You can't mars. You look at it. It shouldn't be. That's why it should be the same. Be careful. Even data type. Data type can be different. So please check first and then march. So we'll uh, march to file. CDO march time. Then we want to do manually. So wind, we have U and wind, we have B, right? We want to march to file. Then give the name. Uh, wind uv dot nc finish now see wind uv together now I put if I put now star x 
means it will take the whole NetCD file. Be careful, you have the different data file. So you can make your own folder with the same data set, then you use these commands. Even in NCL, NCL can do the same thing. We use the strx and run. Even NCL can do that. This is called the concatenation. We concat the data. Now, at the last part, I want to get my data as a text file. It's a readable file. Right? My product is ready, it's finished. Now I want to do some like simple temporal figure or in Excel, whatever, in any software, that I want to check my data and finish. Like in machine learning, I use Python, but for analysis, I use NC. So I just go fast NC. Analyze everything, then I extract my data as a text file, then I come to the Python and I will create it. Or you can use MATLAB. So if you get a text file, you can use whatever Mat uh, MATLAB, Enancial, Grass, or other software. Mm -hmm. Now, so there is a two way. One, you will get just text file, but there is no name. Which data? What the name of the data? So two ways, if you know your data, that's text file, but if you, if you have the many variables, so uh, you should treat as, as a table, so there will be a name. Okay, this data is this name, this data is this name, so it's good, right? So first one is just, CDO has output operator. It will give you the output. So then, your input file, which file do you want to convert it to text? Then use this one and give the output name and I want to export as a dead file so I cannot open a notepad. Okay? So output, CDO output monthly, then space, Output file can give name, okay. Month rain dot DAT. This command, it will give you the six column, the data, 365 days. Uh, monthly data, you have the different grid size, right? Gate point, so it's giving the gate point data. But we want to know what is the data. I want to make a table now. If I make table, that is okay. This data is for this, and this data is for this date. From this data, we can't know which date, isn't it? So the next command. Now we want to make a table with name, then date, then we have the loan, right? We have the lat, and we have the value, isn't it? Then copy this from there. We are here, right? Then it output TAB, that's mean the table. Then make a space. What is the input file? Input file is monthly. This file. Then want to give the output file. Uh, table. Dot DAT. Let's look. Saying our variable name is what? PRE. And who is date? And who is loan? Who is lat? And the value. So it's very clear. It's very clear. Okay, this value is for this loan, lat, and this date, and the name, the variable name is P. Right? It's more recognizable, right? It's more understandable. But if you have only one, everything on the first one is good. Yes. 
If one electron, there is no value, no variable one electron, that I know that's one that okay, go. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, who are in out, out, uh, out of China? So you can uh, uh, see my video lecture and I will upload uh, the files just below my video. But if you are new in my channel, please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.